In this video, we will cover how to place a trade and attach a stop loss and take profit to your order. In this example, I will take a long position in the Commonwealth Bank. So firstly, in your depth pad, type in CBA. From here, we right click and, and go to create buy order. Now in this screen, we need to ensure that we have the if done box ticked. So to bring that up, just hit this button down here in the bottom right hand corner. Click on default and make sure you click on if done so there's a little circle that pops up next to it and hit OK. Now you'll see that this if done box has popped up inside your buy order pad. Okay, So as per normal you would type in the volume of shares that you wanted to buy, you would type in a price and down here is where you would set the stop loss and the take profit. Okay. So to do this, we'll start by setting the stop loss. You just tick this little box here. You can then choose to set your stop loss based on the price. So maybe $76 or $75 or points away. So you might want it 50 cents or $1 away from where, it's, where, it's current, where you're getting into the position. Okay. So let's do price and let's set our stop loss to be $75. Now this first box will be the trigger price, so once the price of CBA falls to $75, the order will trigger. And the second box is the, is the order that is sent through into the market. So you can choose this to either be a market to limit style order, or you can choose a price that you're willing to accept down to. So let's say $74.95 for example. Now this is exactly the same for the stop for the take profit as well. Okay, you just choose a trigger price. So in this case, we wait. We may choose seventy-eight dollars, and again a a, uh, a limit price for the order, or we might set market limit in this case. All right. Now, if we wanted to set a trailing stop loss, which is where the stop loss follows the last traded price in the direction that favours your trade, but not in the opposite direction. So to do this, all we do is untick the take profit and the stop loss boxes here and tick on the trailing stop loss. Again, you can choose this to either be in points or percentage. In this case, we might choose points. So I'll set in here 50 points, which in the case of Commonwealth Bank would be 50 cents. Okay. Now, once we've done that, we'll set that to market to limit and we can then place our order. So once you're happy, you hit the buy button down here. A confirmation page comes up, okay? You then need to make sure that what you've put into the system is correct, all right? And hit okay. And you'll see here, now in our order pad, we have the order that's come up that we've created. And the stop loss or the take profit or the trailing stop, depending on what style of contingent order you've placed, will come up in the contingent order pad down here, okay? So if we just scroll along here like this, you'll see that the details of our order are, are, are down here. Okay, thank you, happy trading.